Dodges that'll start and run every day. It's a 59, did you say? It's a 57. 57. I got it in, uh, in 1979. Okay. I think that I, I love it just the way it is. Got a 70 shifter in there, huh? I think that's yeah. 70. Yeah, that'd be about right, yeah. And there's the transfer case shifter. That's a 64. <laughs> Is it really? For her shifter, yeah. Somebody would love to have that. <laughs> these cars, uh, when these old trucks were built, you know, it would be sold in Australia. So there you can see the steering cone. The oh, holes, yeah. The holes were in the floor. Yeah. Everything. And the dash looks the same. All you do is take that dash out and put it over here with the speaker. How and, about uh, that? The, the radio bolted underneath the dash okay. on these, and the speaker went in there. That's a that's a different steering column than they had because I put power steering in this, this truck. Now, what is the knob on the top? Is that the wipers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that's just where it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a truck, <laughs> right? Yeah. These trucks only cost like sixteen seventy five. Really? With the, you know, with a flathead six and yeah. three speed. This uh, this truck came with a V eight. Very damned. It still resembles the 55s with this, uh, the way this grip, you know, the... Yeah, well 57 was kind of unique to itself because was it's the first it? year with a one-piece hood. Oh. And one-piece vent shield. Okay. And of course, it, it had the 12 volts too. They hadn't uh, upgraded the trucks to 12 volt. But here's the, uh, the original certified uh, horsepower at 4,400 RPMs was 165. That's pretty good. Couldn't get above. And, and at 40, well, here it says 4,400, 200. And, huh. Oh, this is certified horsepower and, th and this is a certified horsepower. Hmm, what the hell? Certified net, net horsepower. Net, yeah. And this is gross horsepower. Yeah. So this is what they went with. It's 204. But this truck's never been far from home. It's stayed right here. It's always been right. Probably sold out in Geneseo. And, and when my brother got it, it had a the V8 had come out of it and they had put in a flathead six. Yeah. <laughs> If you can imagine, I. But so what do you it, have in there? What is that? Three eighteen in there now. That's three sixty. Yeah. It uh, that was all out of the Ram truck. You know, the but this is a factory four wheel drive truck too. No, oh. No, it, it was just a two wheel. Oh, all right. And then I made it into. I got you. Uh, four wheel drive. So. I was thinking before. I, I can see that front spring hanger. Uh, I made that come out. Sure. And the back is conventional. <laughs> so it, it's like twisted. That, that spring are running like this. Why? Huh. Well, I think it's cool. Rust and, and all. Can you still find you fenders and stuff anymore? I suppose somebody's got the some. City out there, they actually make uh, fenders. I got one of that. You got a nice cut here, huh? Yeah. yeah it's, well, it goes up and down the hill. I, I was going to take this fender off and start redoing it. In the, so there's only like two bolts holding that on there. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. They, this, uh, these tires were hard on these fenders because they didn't have any in the fender well. They could throw rocks up there. And take the, the hell rocks out knocked of it. the paint off and then that's... Starts rusting. Rusted out. Uh, yep. Yeah, when you figure it's, it's 65 years old. And yeah. It's and it's enough. lived in northern Illinois its whole life. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, day. it's lucky that it's alive still. Uh, the plans are I, I've got a Ram charger up there. I'm just going to 
start driving and uh, 